back to the channel everyone uh it's my first time back in like probably 10 15 days but it feels good it was a nice break in case you aren't aware uh me and the wife went on our honeymoon it was a cruise to jamaica uh grand cayman and cozumel uh it was a very good time we're glad to be back though glad to be back in louisiana glad to see all the diesel trucks and american vehicles I'm tired of seeing little Toyota, little vans and stuff everywhere. Um, let's see. In case you haven't noticed or you can't tell, it's like really early in the morning. I couldn't sleep last night. I'm so excited to see, uh, show you guys what I got for this thing. I know I've been teasing it here and there on Facebook and YouTube and everything else. My little uh, community channel YouTube picture I uploaded. So, first things first. Let's... Let's do some thinking real quick. <clears throat> I put it up here so Bojangles can't knock it over even though he's still jumping in the back of the truck. So, Dirt Legal hooked me up with this nice camera. They knew that I wanted I've been talking to the guys. And um, it's an Olympus TG5 Tough. And... It's not the greatest quality in the world, and I knew it was going to be that way, but it's waterproof and drop proof. So I can take this thing with me uh, to do videos, like in the woods or whatever, and I shouldn't have, you know, to worry about damaging it too much. The screen is pretty tough. I've seen people drop it on rocks on YouTube and everything else. It's going to take me a little bit to, to uh, learn how it does and uh, the best modes to shoot in and everything. It's a little bit more complicated than the phone, but I already did a little test run on the quality of the video and it seems to be pretty great. So that's out of the way. Look at the other stuff I got back uh, on vacation and found. Look at all these keychains. So this one's obviously gonna be mine. It's got the red, white, and blue. But uh, these other ones, I had asked them what what I should do with them and uh, they said you can give them away or whatever you would like to do so I don't know if you guys can see that but uh, I think that's what I would like to do I have three keychains left um, and then look at all these stickers I mean they come in strips of three I'm not gonna take these out individually probably I don't know depends on how easy that is I haven't really looked at these uh, our, these are the ones you get when you buy a product from them. So I have several of those to give away. So if you guys give me some time, I will be uh, I will be probably giving those away. And if I could get in my truck, we'll see. I got something else in here for you guys. I don't know where the box went, but here's the koozies. They did come in, and I love them so far. I've had them for a couple of weeks now. I haven't known really what to do with them. I keep saying that I'm going to give them at 3,000 uh, subscribers or 4,000. It's just hard to play anything like that because you guys are blowing my stuff up. I'm like at... 3,800 now over vacation time. I got like six or 700 subscribers. So Really big deal really thankful for that. I'm, I'm glad that most of you are uh, enjoying the content that I'm putting out um, But there will be a giveaway of some sort pretty soon probably um, I don't know once again if I'm gonna make it to the rocks or roundup thing, but that's where I was going to do it at, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I know you guys didn't click on this video to uh, listen to me blabber, so let's get to the good stuff. Okay, so I've got it pretty much all kind of busted open to where you guys can see. 
Uh, I got a bunch of new stickers to add to the fridge, as you saw in the intro. Um, I'm a little bummed that On the Rocks didn't send a sticker with theirs. I would like to add that to the uh, fridge. So let's start going over what we got here. We got front and rear gear sets. I went ahead and went with a 488 ratio. Uh, I almost wanted to go with the 513, but 456 is what it would take to get the uh, same ratio basically out of the Roxer compared to stock. With these 35s, it would take a 456. So, um, got the gear sets. Got all your seals. Um, I'm assuming this is the rear floater kit, uh, full floater kit. It's your axle nut, I believe that's what that's called. Um, that goes on to there. I've seen some pictures in their website or, or Facebook of them doing that are already installed so I kind of know how that pieces together um here's your axles I'm assuming rear axles and I went ahead and threw these in this box they actually came out of this one but uh, these are for your front no I got it all wonky jawed. Just don't don't pay no me don't pay me no mind. Um, let's see. These uh, there's some U joints in there. Um, let's see. I'm getting all mixed up on what I got here. Okay, so here is your ox lockers. I did go ahead and get the ox lockers. So I know a bunch of you guys have been telling me and I've been knowing this and I've just got tired of repeating it. Nothing against you guys. I have a massive amount of new people on this channel coming in. So, I mean, some people just don't know what my plans were. So I don't blame anybody for telling me that I need lockers. I mean, I know I needed lockers. So. You can finally stop hearing me say that and hear me say it needs re-geared and all that. I got it right here. Um, I do have the other one already unboxed in the living room. So I'm going to head in there and show you guys what can what's in this. I was just giving the wife a little bit more time to sleep before I went and started rednecking in the living room and woke her up. But uh, I believe that covers it as far as the goodies and the boxes. Here's the deal. Um, here's your nice case for the ox locker, the uh, diff case. Extremely heavy duty. It's probably about 20 pounds, if I had to guess. Something like that. So, um, here's your carrier. Let's see if I can get a good shot on this. Alright, so this uh, I'll have to mock it up on, on that and you'll just have to look at that camera and, and see it. I'll do that in a second. This is your controller. Uh, manual cable controller. Yes, I did get the manual cable because I just don't want anything extra that can go wrong. Plus, I mean this thing is so old school to me I think it's just cool to have some levers in there that I can just quickly throw in and out how that works is you got a big long nice cable and you got this little fork I think they call this the shift fork um, it screws into there I'm not gonna unscrew that and screw it back in it's a pain trying to hold this and then turn that whole cable around so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how this part connects and let me get back around over here so that I can show you alright this thing 
screws on here. Let me show you. Well, I'm going to take a thousand screws, but this little piece is separate. All right. Um, it goes straight into here. And for this part, I'm just going to go ahead and set this camera down and do it on that one. Here's a better look up close at what that does. These forks set in there around this casing. And then this slides in and out. And that's what engages your locker. Um, so when it's disengaged, it's an open differential. And all it takes is this. Which is probably going to be harder because it's sitting in there trying to trying to do it. And I'm doing it with one hand. Yep. I know you couldn't see on camera, but it just pushed that whole carrier that way. So, yep. Let me see. See that? There we go. All right, so I'm going to wrap this video up now um, by saying it is Sunday now, I believe. I don't know. I'm screwed up after that week on the boat. Um, I think it's Sunday. I think Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're going to try to tear into this thing. Not 100% positive. I got a buddy uh, that I work with that has done this kind of stuff before. Um, I have not. And you guys aren't watching me for experience or anything. Uh, I'm going, I'm learning as I go. My whole goal starting this channel was to show that an average guy can do a bunch of things. Uh, encourage people to come, step out of their comfort zone and start wrenching on something. Um, it's a good feeling when you finally conquer that and you, you're not scared of tearing stuff up anymore. But uh, I will say I am a little bit worried about getting backlashing right or whatever on the uh, on the gears back there. So that's the only thing that I feel like I can't do the first time, the first round. I've watched several YouTube videos and everything. Um, this other guy, his name is Ryan as well, that uh, said he would he would come help. Uh, he's done this stuff before, so I know it's just a matter of having the right tools and everything for the job, which I don't have one of those uh, gauges to measure that. But, um, yeah, we're going to tear into it and see see if we can do it by ourselves. Um, I'm hoping to mount the controllers there, the manual shift cables there, one on each side here. Um, leave the, uh, let's see, the rear, put the rear over here and just leave it locked in all the time when I'm ATV riding or out here doing a project that I need it furthest away from me. And then right here, have the front to where I can easily just kick it in and out uh, while riding. So, um, and then run the cables through here somewhere. I don't know. I, I know that I've lifted this up before, this whole little section, and I think there's access to the bottom of it through there. So that's some of my plans for this video. I know I'm just mumbling now, dragging on, but um, yeah, subscribe, like, uh, try to keep up with the channel if you want to see this thing finally become what what it should be. Um, It'll make me a, a lot more confident riding it with these, uh, these new modifications in it. So that's going to be it. We'll catch you next time.